in a patient whose procalcitonin levels are elevated this indicates this indicates that yes there is a bacteria because the only alternate mechanism or the cycle by which a body can synthesize this procal is the bacteria and hence procal is a con is considered as a standard marker for sepsis next is let us talk about septic shock also there are two three important questions which needs to be addressed and answered here what is sirs what is s i r s everyone knows that sirs stands for systemic inflammatory response syndrome systemic inflammatory response syndrome but the question is how we define sirs how we define sirs sirs is defined as there are four parameters yes heart rate more than 90 beats per minute point number 1 respiratory rate more than 20 or more than 20 per minutes or pso2 less than 32 mm hg temperature of the body more than 38 degree centigrade or less than 36 degree centigrade wbc count wbc count more than 12000 more than 12000 or less than 4000 if out of them if out of these four parameters two or more parameters are positive two or more parameters are positive this is considered as sirs positive sirs positive so out of four parameters at least two or more than two should be positive yes now let us talk about this concept of sepsis what is sepsis sepsis is defined as sirs sirs plus documentation of infection on culture reports yes or no so infection plus sirs is equal to sepsis next question what is septic shock then what is septic shock if you talk about septic shock if you talk about septic shock what is septic shock it is defined as it is defined as sepsis sepsis plus hypotension sepsis plus hypotension is defined as septic shock next is what is what is the concept of what is the concept of we have seen sepsis we have seen septic shock now let us see let us understand the concept of sepsis syndrome also what is sepsis syndrome what is sepsis syndrome this is defined as sepsis plus organ failure sepsis plus organ failure is defined as sepsis syndrome now when we talk about organ failure there are two three important questions here yes what is the most common organ failure seen the most common organ failure that we see the most common organ failure is lungs yes and what do you see in lungs it is ards after lungs the second most common organ failure the most common organ failure is lungs the second most common after lungs come on tell me what is the second most common after lungs we have we have gut what do you see in gut you see ileus the third most common the third after this is liver what do you see in liver in liver you see deranged lft deranged lft deranged liver function test and kidney you see uremia you see uremia yes so sepsis plus organ failure this is known as sepsis syndrome now what is a marker or how do you gauge the prognosis of a patient with what organ failure yes how do you gauge that there is a score which is known as q sofa yeah there is a score which is known as q sofa most of you have heard of and this is a very important question also 
what is q sofa all about q sofa stands for yes quick s stands for sepsis related sepsis related or if it is not sepsis related like in case of pancreatitis etc you can say sepsis related or sequential so quick sepsis related or sequential organ organ failure assessment quick sepsis related organ failure assessment this is what is known as q sofa now do you know this can be seen in sepsis related condition it can be seen in chronic inflammatory condition like pancreatitis so what is the literature meaning of this it's a questionnaire basically to check how the patient is going to perform in setting of organ failure so there are three questions there are three questions that you are going to ask what are they systolic bp systolic bp less than 100 mm hg is the systolic bp less than 100 mm hg the second is is the respiratory rate more than 22 per minute third is the patient's mental condition altered so you can see altered altered sensorium altered sensorium students you have to remember if the answer to your question is yes then you give a score of 1 if the answer to your question is no then you go give a score of what 0 always remember one very important thing very important thing a score a score of 2 or more a score of 2 or more is associated with what poor prognosis a score of 2 or more is associated with what poor prognosis so this is a prognostic indicator sofa is a very old score sofa is equal to sirs basically it's a complex score we don't remember it easily and hence in surgery we don't use it in remember surgeons are basically what if you talk about the iq level don't take it otherwise but i consider myself to be a moron had we been that studious we would have not opted for surgery we are more skillful people rather than the, those nerd or bookish type of knowledge matlab knowledgeable people yes so we remember we take we amalgamate only those things which we can easily remember and recall and that is why sofa was introduced and was rejected by surgeons and over the time we believe in q sofa and we believe in sirs because we can recall it easily that is the reason so this is about sepsis now very important question very very twice or thrice this question has been asked us in mch entrance that what is an important marker of sepsis what are markers of sepsis if you talk about markers of sepsis yes markers of sepsis we have three important markers of sepsis you must have heard of hscrp yes hscrp this is one the second is procalcitonin 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 and third is third is now the nowadays we are using cd14 the most sensitive of them is this procal procalcitonin is the most sensitive marker most sensitive marker more sensitive marker value more than 2 international units per ml more than 2 international units per ml this is indicative of severe sepsis severe sepsis try to understand why is this so try to understand this again has a story what is the story do you know in your body who produces procal produce by para follicular cells of thyroid and they produce this procal in a very small quantity small or you can say negligible quantity so this can never give you a significant titer of procal now the other source of procal is bacteria bacteria also produces procal so in a patient whose procalcitonin levels are elevated in a patient whose procalcitonin levels are elevated this indicates this indicates that yes there is a bacteria because the only alternate mechanism or the cycle by which a body can synthesize this procal is the bacteria 
and hence procal is a con is considered as a standard marker for sepsis do you know procal we utilize in order to study in order to study the antibiotics like suppose we have a patient who is having a tlc of 18000 and procal is 5 procal is 6 will shift him to what higher antibiotics like meropenem maybe colistin maybe tigacyclin maybe we add two or three drugs and procal is falling down we can remove one of them we can remove two of them we can keep the patient on single so procal is a very important marker in these patients yes